Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of categories, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day. Whenever I announce giveaways, there's always a giveaway going on. And of course, whenever I go live, because it is the first of May, that means in just a day or two I will be sending out some emails to those of you who have been randomly selected as winners of the April secret password giveaways and it means we have a whole new round of secret passwords starting today so whenever you hear a secret password in a video you want to enter that along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below and then at the end of the month I go through and select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for watching as always if you are already subscribed thank you so much for being here and welcome back Today I have kind of a lifestyle box, kind of a travel box, definitely a box with some yummy treats I'm guessing, and that is Celebrate States, and this has been sent to me for review once again. The box is $45 per month plus $8 in shipping, but I've got a great code for you. It's Noel 50 or Noel 50 and that will save you, of course, 50% on your first box in a three or six month subscription. So you're already going to get some savings with that multi-month subscription, and then of course because there are 50 states, you're going to save 50% which I think is kind of fun so I believe this is the April box I know it's May 1st but I just received it because I think they were waiting for another item to come in so a lot of people have already received this box and this box is sold out but I will be reviewing the May box as well which is I believe featuring the great state of Kentucky this box however I believe is featuring Alabama which is one of the states that I have not been to yet I honestly have been to way more countries in the world than I have states that is another goal is to finally get to all 50 of them. I think I'm only at like 20 something so not even halfway necessarily. So inside it says Alabama the beautiful is what it says. So this is a great box for families to share for sure just because it is educational. It kind of gets you inspired to maybe take a visit to that state. So let's see what it says says we absolutely love the beautiful state of Alabama from the mountains to the ocean Alabama is full of beautiful parks lakes and green spaces to explore it is a state where you must choose your college football team and wear it proudly will you don the bold orange and blue of the Auburn Tigers or the crimson and white of the University of Alabama Huntsville Alabama is home to the well-known space and rocket center with one of the largest collections of rockets in the world you can experience different space simulations and a tent space camp there that would be fun it says Mobile Alabama is the the original birthplace of Mardi Gras and has some of the most beautiful beaches nearby. Drive over to the Florabama, a country bar that sits half in Alabama and half in Florida. That does sound pretty darn fun. Every spring they throw a huge multi-state mullet toss on the beach and we've actually been and it's a whole lot of fun. So then the rest of this sheet tells us what's in the box so I will save that so that I can tell you about it as we move on. So just single-sided. There is a nice map here so let me open the box up a little bit better. It keeps trying to close on me. So this is a full size sheet of the United States of America, which is kind of fun. So you can definitely kind of check off all of the different states that you've been to. I have one of those scratch up maps for the world as well as for the states. So I'm going to have to go to that. Maybe I'll have one for subscription boxes and one for actually physically getting to go and visit a state. And then we've got a really cool sticker sheet, you guys. So I think we've gotten this in a past box. So there are some sort of emblematic uh, symbols, stickers for each of the states which I think is really cool so you could definitely put that onto each of the states on the map to help you learn it a little bit better I'm just of course having to look at Alaska and uh, Hawaii because I always want to see what us non-contiguous folks get so for Hawaii we have it looks like a hook baby um, a tiki I think and a volcano and some honu some turtles so I'm happy about the turtles I have to figure out what that other one is we did get a sweet home Alabama official vacation guide so this is like from the tourism board it is a nice thick magazine I actually love getting these from the little kiosks from the little shelves that you get in every airport or every bus station because they really do tell you a lot it's yes it's a lot of ads but it's beautiful pictures and it gives you a really good idea of some of the uh, quintessential things to do on any visit so I love that it says maps and stickers it's time it's that time again if you've been with us for a while you know that we've put maps and st stickers in before and this makes a great way to keep up with which states you have received each time you receive a box sticker the featured 
state and see if you can collect all 50. Love that. So that's awesome. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. So now, you guys, you can kind of see the actual items that are in here. And again, I am super excited about some of the edible treats for sure. So I think my brother-in-law would be really excited about this because this is where his family is from and where the, a lot of them live still to this day. So let's see what's in this little... Uh, little ribbon we have oh my goodness this is really taped up so you guys are gonna have to bear with me as I cut into this uh, bubble wrap item probably a bottle of something delicious is what I'm guessing let's see if I can get into it all right so unpacking sounds abound on my channel for those of you who prefer not to hear them you can fast forward but I have always loved hearing the unpacking sounds to some degree in an unboxing I just feel like it adds to the excitement of opening right and it adds to the experience and then it adds to the surprise for on my part as well so wow they used some really sticky bubble wrap I'm almost in there you guys I got the first layer out but I do want to free the entire um, free the entire bottle but now I think I can see what it is I believe this is some, some white barbecue sauce which I've actually gotten once before in um, another box that I don't review anymore explore local so but this is a different brand yeah it's some sticky bubble wrap I'm sorry for your ears for those of you who are like can't stand that there we go. We're good. We're good. Shh. So this is Pilateri's Pil white barbecue sauce. So it's great on salads and grilled vegetables. So before I had it suggested to put it on grilled chicken breast, I wasn't honestly a huge fan of the white barbecue sauce that I tried before, but this looks very different. This doesn't look quite as white and creamy. That one was like kind of like a ranch almost. So let's read about this. Um, this, it says Mr. P's Alabama white sauce. So that's what it says. Oh, so Pil Pilateri's. It says Alabama white barbecue sauce was created in the early 1900s when Bob Gilson created a unique combination of mayo and vinegar into a delicious sauce for chicken. Since then, Alabama has been known for its white sauce. Mr. P's Deli makes one of the most delicious white sauces we've tasted and we wanted to share this amazing sauce with you. So it says try our honey mustard and Jamaican jerk sauce too. That sounds good. It says adds real southern flavor to chicken, pork, fish, shrimp, and grilled vegetables of pretty much everything essentially. It says also great on salads, hamburgers, potatoes, and wild game. So basically it's mayo with vinegar so knowing that if you're not really a mayo person you might not like this but again I'm very excited to try this because it is summertime so it is grilling time I guess officially it's still spring but in my mind it's summertime all right you guys let's do a little bit more bubble wrap and then there's no more bubble wrap in the box so you guys will be safe this one is not taped quite so so intensely it looks like we have got a mug which is always really fun if you're someone who collects mugs in every state I know a lot of you guys collect the Starbucks mugs I just don't have a lot of room for mugs but I recently just got a mug in another box and I was going to maybe give it away and my husband was like that that mug is super cool you have to hold on to that so I have kind of convinced him to build me a little bit more storage so that I can keep some of these cool items that I get in these boxes so we can have quite the uh, quite the collection and this actually totally goes with it because it is a ceramic mug but it has the look of a camping mug so it has sort of these um, on purpose sort of aged signs of distress in the glaze so you can call me Al ha 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 so that's pretty cute uh, the abbreviation which you guys know I love a state abbreviation there is one in my channel name and I love the colors of this it kind of actually reminds me of the old San Diego Chargers um, but now which are now LA which we now we're not that happy about but <laughs> let me see what this says about this cute mug so it says faux wow foul wow Fow Wow Designs, F-O-W, don't know, Fow, Fo, um, from Huntsville, Alabama. It says, Fow Wow lives to spread love for funky favorite places and spaces and things that make us smile. Born from a love of this hometown and a desire to make stuff, Fow Wow started with a t-shirt. A little weird, a little magical, and the rest is history. Jonathan Fowler, so Fow, Fow Wow, um, just has to make stuff. Original designs that bring freshness to shirt shirtless southern souls we hope you love the call me al mug this month this is actually pretty cute and i love that song too so um all right let's see what else we have got this looks delicious so this is from the kettle brothers it is some gourmet kettle corn but it's like even sweeter because it is in the flavor heavenly cake which is kind of appropriate because um my husband just had his birthday month he's still celebrating even though his birthday was weeks ago um but this kind of looks fun so they're from Gad gadston 
Gadsden, Alabama, Kettle Brothers set out to change the way people think about popcorn. Through fun and unique flavors, popcorn has finally achieved snacking greatness to prove that if you want to achieve something, you can, even when the world thinks it's impossible. So take on the impossible in everything that you do. So love that uh, positive intention there. How many servings do we think is in this container? So yes, it says five servings, you guys. And you know me, especially when it comes to popcorn, this is a single serving in one sitting for sure. So it is nice. It's got whole grain. Of course, popcorn is great because it is gluten-free, non-GMO corn, and zero grams of trans fat. But it looks like they did add some like little sprinkles on it to make it heavenly cake flavored. So that sounds good though. All right. Looks like we've got maybe a tea towel. I'm going to have to use those unpacking noises again. Sorry guys. Um, but maybe this one won't be quite as intensive as the uh, bubble wrap. Glad that we got the bubble wrap out of the way in the beginning. All right, let's see what we've got here. So it says this, it says, we have brought you this sassy Southern mama hand towel. It says, wash your hands. No, seriously, I actually kind of like that. You guys know me, I'm not huge on having text on anything in my house just because, I don't know, it's just, I, it's just my personal style. However, I do appreciate something that is simple, maybe a little bit sassy, and in also just in good old black and white. I love this because it's actually embroidered on there instead of printed on there, so you're not gonna get any peeling. It says, we can hear, we can just hear our own sassy Southern mama telling us she means it. This fun towel is perfect for your guest bath. We hope you, oh, that's just the end. It says, we hope you love exploring the beautiful state of Alabama this month. So that's pretty cute. And it just says, warm wash and dry, you can't, iron it if you would like so it's just simple like I said pretty good size tea towels kind of got that um burlap sack or not burlap sack but like sack kind of material to it so it's kind of thin a little bit textured but I think that's actually pretty cute for the guest bath like no seriously it's not just for the employees um everybody needs to do this oh my goodness you guys I totally missed something that was actually stuffed in the mug and I just took it out so this is Aunt B's delicious desserts and of course it's Aunt B B E E with a little B and it says Aunt Gertie's bread pudding so it looks like we got a mix you guys know I love a baking mix because it makes life so easy and delicious the, they are out of Montgomery Alabama it says mama grew up on a small farm on the side of a steep hill way way back in the Appalachian Mountains she was the youngest of nine kids they didn't have much but mama was quick to say they always had a they always had good food. She learned to cook using plain ingredients, things common to farm life. Dessert was always a part of dinner, and if anyone objected, Mama was also quick to remind folks that life was too short not to eat pie. Visit Aunt Gertie's for delicious recipes. So let's see, this is bread pudding. It says you just lightly butter a one and a half quart baking dish. I don't know what size that is in all honesty. It says add about two cups of torn bread. Any type of bread can be used, but stale bread is best. Stir the pudding mix in into one and a half cups of warm whole milk and pour over the bread. Make sure all of the bread is covered by the liquid and then bake at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. So I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. I used to not be a huge bread pudding fan and then when I started finding the adult versions of it that are a little bit spiked, those are pretty darn good, especially with some nice vanilla ice cream. So that's pretty cute. You could even serve it in your mugs. I think that would be really fun. All right, we have one final item in here. This is pretty cute, very summery. I don't know what this is exactly. I'm guessing it's just like a little extra because I don't see it on here, but we'll go over everything at the end. It's just a little flip-flop bag. Isn't that cute, you guys? Maybe it came from one of the brands that's in here and it's supposed to supposed to be in there. It doesn't have a tag on it or anything, but I'm wondering if this is maybe from like Fow Wow or something, but that is super cute. I don't know what you would put in that, but it would be a really cute little gift bag, right? If you're going over to someone's house, I just need to like iron out the little straps. So let's just go over everything that we got in our fun Alabama box, which again was the featured state for the month of April, April, Alabama. Um, so we got our fun maps and stickers. It's nice that they kind of put that in there every few months for those of you who might be new to the subscription. We got our Fow Wow designs super duper cute uh mug from them i'm guessing that's what it is yeah and so let's see that's what it yes so it does actually say fow wow right underneath it that's how i know and maybe they did the flip-flop bag i'm not sure then we got an aunt gertie's pudding mix which of course is great because that is so true that 
Life is too short to not eat pie, or bread pudding for that matter. We got our Keto Brothers uh, Heavenly Cake Popcorn, which is one serving, I don't care what it says on the bag. And we also got our Mr. P's Alabama White Sauce from Birmingham, Alabama, which I will have to try on some grilled things very, very soon. And then also we got our hand towel. Maybe this also came from So Monkey. Sorry if I didn't mention the name. So So as in S-E-W because it is something sewn, which is cute and sassy. So we got um, a good mixture. We got three things that were edible and then two things that are more like home goods that you can have in your kitchen, your mug, and your tea towel. I thought this was a nice uh, representation of Alabama, but of course I have not been there. So let you guys let me know. Is there anything this box kind of missed that they should have featured in here? Or is there anything in here that sort of brings back good memories that you would love to dig into? And if you have been to Kentucky, now that is a state that I have been to, but kind of real quick, just driving through, I think it was so beautiful. I'm very much looking forward to that box and reviewing that here on the channel. Let me know, see if you can predict some of the items that will be in that box in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you appreciated it, please do give it a thumbs up. I would love a comment as well, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.